Okay, welcome to Polycraft World, powered by UP Dallas. <clears throat> Here's a video explaining how to make a distillation column in uh, the crafting table. So you're going to need a hopper, a regulator, which is a new item in Polycraft, uh, blocks of metal, so be nickel, tungsten, iron, bra uh, uh, bronze, or brass, a block of redstone, and also uh, a furnace and copper pipe. Copper pipe can be made from copper ingots, which are smelted from copper ore that you can mine from the Polycraft world. Okay, so here is our distillation column. This can be placed anywhere. Uh, future videos will talk about ways of uh, placing this in a more advanced way to get more efficiency out of it. <clears throat> but your distillation column will require two buckets of water, which are not consumed in the process of distillation, but are required to make it work. A heat source of some kind. This can use any of the Minecraft heat sources or any of the new uh, fuels that you'll get from distillation. And also you're going to need a bucket of crude oil or some kind of crude oil source. The first types of crude oil that you'll find in the world involve uh, gushers you'll find from exploring. There'll be lakes of crude oil or gushers coming up from the surface. Also you can find some crude oil um, lakes underground from mining. Uh, but when you put the crude oil bucket into the distillation column, you'll separate it into a bucket and beakers of crude oil. These beakers can be collected and upcycled into larger uh, uh, drums, which I'll show you in a second. <clears throat> the first distillation of a bucket of crude oil will have to be put back into the distillation column as crude oil and a bucket. So you get your bucket back, but you have to redistill again. So this actually is more time consuming and energy consuming since you have to let the coal burn for longer. When this beaker, when these beakers of crude oil finish distilling, they'll actually distill into their base components. Right? So this will be, we'll get four components from distilling crude oil. Okay, we get naphthalenes, benzene, toluene, xylene, and gas oil, as well as a block, uh, several blocks of, of bitumen. Each one of these components, each one of these beakers can be distilled further, and you can see how they, how they break down into smaller components. Uh, if you look at our petroleum distillation tree, which is on the Polycraft Wiki. But it's both time and energy in, uh, beneficial to distill larger amounts if you can. So this is a drum of crude oil, which will take exactly the same amount of time to distill as a beaker, but you'll get more out of it. So this is both more time and energy efficient to distill larger amounts. Drums of crude oil can be obtained either by upcycling uh, distilled beakers of crude oil, or they can be obtained directly from oil derricks, uh, which pump oil from the ground, uh, which will be explained in a later video. So this is basic use of a distillation column. You can read more about the distillation column on the Polycraft Wiki.